And then two minutes again. Let's try again to record something that makes sense. Sense. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's definitely a complex, difficult season, the one we are facing and going through. Um, people have been asked to self isolate, to stay in quarantine, stay home, um, and healthcare systems are getting lots of pressure. Um, it's quite a difficult season, and I want to thank you, each person that's contributing to support as much as possible and ease the war situation. Um, me personally, I've been fine for others we've been asking um, and I want to thank you all for your messages because uh, as some of you know I am a nurse so I got some messages about you know, how it's going to work and about the pressure it's definitely a lot of pressure um, things have changed in terms of routine and uh, flexibility at work um, so yeah there's a lot going on uh, but we are pushing and thanks God, I'm really grateful that I am, you know, I'm fine um, and I get to support people and um, help people. After this, you know, a little bit of uh, catch up and sad note. Um, anyway, with this isolation and quarantine as well, <clears throat> forgive my voice, I'm still like recovering from, you know, the nose and everything but <clears throat> okay um but um yes on a bright note um you know many people are isolating staying home and uh, i can see many people are using the time to um be productive and cook different things if preparing different dishes making different dishes and i've seen uh, different friends making different things and um as many of my friends always ask me about a specific dish which is the carbonara uh, recipe and uh, i've seen recently one of my friends uh, making it who inspired me to make this video hi anais if you're watching thank you so much for uh, being part and inspiration for this video i decided it would be uh, cute to just share with you the recipe of carbonara the real deal carbonara because i've seen <clears throat> I'm so sorry, my voice is literally like playing up right now. So I've seen this dish being done in different ways, with different ingredients, and I know there have been probably many Italians out there sort of correcting uh, people around about the recipe and ingredients. And so I decided to use my self isolation time at home to share with you a carbonara and a carbonara in quarantine, I would say. As we know, food stores are facing quite a lot of pressure as well, so it's not easy to find everything right now on the shelves. But yes, I got the ingredients and I'm gonna make this dish with you. So let's move to the kitchen. Welcome to the kitchen. Sorry, let's get started. If you have any cooking cream, just put it away, you don't need it. So for the carbonara, you can need 320 grams of spaghetti, 150 grams of pork cheek, but in this case, I use bacon, yolks from six medium eggs, Roman pecorino cheese, but in this case, I use hard cheese, a bit of salt and a little bit of black pepper. So a little disclaimer before we start. I'm not a chef and I'm not a professional cook, but I'm definitely a normal human being who was trying to, you know, make carbonara following a recipe. So nothing perfect over here, absolutely, you know, basic level. As I mentioned before, some of the ingredients that I'm using, I know the exact same ones that the, you know, original recipe uh, recommends, because as we know, at this time of the year, uh, not all the stores, you know, stock everything and I tried to find absolutely similar super close ingredients so let's get started right I'm gonna like slide down so I can get into the square basically so you can see the um, pan and me as well talking so uh, the first thing I'm gonna do basically I'm gonna put a little bit of oil in the pan so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just uh, gently fry uh, the bacon. Now the thing with the pork cheek is normally it's got quite a good amount of fat for that to go straight to the pan and get fried because the um, pork 
chick will basically soften up and release, you know, uh, the fat basically and it will slowly, um, it will slowly fry. But in this case, because I got bacon and it doesn't have, you know, so much fat, so I'm just using a little bit of oil just to ease the process. So while the bacon is slowly cooking and frying, I'm just going to cook the spaghetti. So while the pasta is cooking and the bacon is getting fried as well, I'm just going to prepare the yolks from the eggs. But I'm going to set the timer up first because otherwise I will let the pasta get overcooked. Hey Google, set timer 12 minutes. 12 minutes. Starting now. Okay, perfect. Now I can prepare the eggs. I really, really enjoy to crack the eggs so much. I don't know why, maybe it's stress relieving. Please comment below if you feel the same. So as I said before, we only need the yolks. So the trick that I've been taught by my mom, I divide it. I let the white literally go down. And then I, I don't know if you can see, I think you can. I let the yolk just go on one side. Then on the other one, it's like playing with it. And then until I'm happy, I only have the yolk and the white is mainly gone. I just put it on the other plate. Now I'm aware that there are literally like different methods of doing this and people do it with the bottle, I think. So they kind of suck with the bottle, the yolk and deposit it, uh, they put it on another plate. Now that we have our yolks ready, we add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper and a little bit of the hot cheese that I got but again, if you can get the Roman pecorino cheese, that would be best and then we mix everything together Hey Google, thank you! Okay, so this is mixed and I'm gonna let this fall into the dish. So I'm going to take the pasta off the kitchen. So now that the bacon is ready, the pasta is ready as well, and our yolk mix is ready as well. Let's put the pasta on the pan. After a few seconds, really just a few seconds, I put it away from the cooker to avoid sort of frittata kind of effect and then I'll put the mix on top look at how creamy it is and you really don't need the white cream when you sort of cream it's literally just the egg mix it makes it so nice and creamy. And then we put it in a plate. Here we go, our carbonara is ready to eat. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you had fun with me making carbonara. And please, please, please try, try, create with food. Uh, it's was so easy, super easy, honestly. And if you have friends and family that want to know and make carbonara as well, please share the video and let them know how to make a super quick, fun and yummy carbonara. I hope you enjoyed this video and yes, I'll see you soon on one of my next videos. Bye and stay home.